Hello everyone, welcome to the GeoSpatials. So in this tutorial we are going to load spatial data. Now that you have created a spatial database by adding PostGIS to your PostgreSQL database, let us go ahead and add spatial data. So in this case we are going to be adding a shape file and there, when you install PostgreSQL there is a tool that comes along with it for loading um, shape files. So you just type in uh, PostGIS PostGIS um, shape file loader and exporter. Click on it. Then um, we are greeted with this um, application. So first we are going to view our connection details and we are going to input these parameters so the username is the user of the database which was postgres then enter the password that you had set and the name of the database which is pg baby okay now the connection is set and has uh, succeeded next we are going to um, import a file sorry so first add the file and uh, I'll provide a link to where you can download the files we'll be using for this tutorial. They have been um, provided in PostGIS uh, official site documentation. But I'll provide a link on the same. So we we'll go to users, document, have data. Now we'll add one data at a time so that I can show you. Now we have the shape file column, the schema. Uh, sorry we have a table column which is the name of the table picked from the name of the shape file then we have the geometry column and then we have an s read column so the default s read is 0 but you are going to change this to 26 918 then uh, in order to add this shape file just click on add file but let us oh, you clip oh, you click on import file but but let us add more so that we can do this um once so first put in the s read i'll explain what s read is 26918 then click away like that it should update it when you click outside like that so um, then you can import but before you import let us check on the options so make sure your options are just as they appear on my screen uh, as default and click ok then import and since PostgreSQL is fast this shouldn't take time now that you are done let's go back to our database and check if it um, was imported successfully so back to PG admin open your database and then expand to schemas and you can see under tables we still need to refresh this so you can right click and refresh so um, now various tables have been added based on the number of shape files that we added and if you click on one of these tables you'll see that it has a, um, a number of columns constraints indexes etc so um, we can also view this data or rather connect PostgreSQL to QGIS so in order to do that open your QGIS and then on your left you'll see a browser panel but if that if that does not appear right click on the top bar and enable browser panel then select PostGIS by right clicking and then selecting new connection then you can give it a name we'll just name it the same as the name of our database then for the service leave it empty the host will be localhost which is the same host for our database and the name of the database is pg 
baby then um, authentication we know that it has an authentication which is the user is postgres and the password which you set during installation then you're not going to store that for now you can test connection and you see that it connects successfully so let's go ahead and connect to it so click ok now if we expand this um, the database that you have connected to we'll see we have a public schema here and if we expand it we see that we already have all of the shape files that we added so we can drag one onto the blank screen and as you can see we are told uh, to select a transformation for our shape file so the first transformation that has been set there is NAD83 UTM zone 18 north and this is this is the representation of the S read that you had set which was um, 26.918 now this is to explain what S read is and S read is basically it stands for a spatial reference identifier and it defines the parameters of the data's geographic coordinate system and also the projection. So this S read is important because it packs all of the information about a map projection which can be sometimes complex into a single number. So instead of re remembering all of this information, we are packing it into a single number which is 26918 and this represents all of this coordinate system and projection so you can select ok for that and you have our data also this projection information can be found in our shape file under the file called uh, that has the extension .prj so for example this file if you open it in um, let's say notepad you'll view this information this kind of information whereby the EPSG is 26918 there used to be a tool that converted the PRJ to EPSG but uh, currently it's not functioning also if you check in PG admin with your with your database highlighted just select query tool and then you want to check information about the S read we had set 26918 so um, don't worry about the command if it sounds too complex now but you are going to do a select SR text from this table spatial refsys spatial ref sys where the s read is equals to 26918 so basically what you are doing is you are selecting a column this is the name of the column and this is the name of the table spatial ref sys and then we are giving it a condition where the s read is equals to 26918 so run that so run that and this is the information you get if I highlight on it you can see um, we have the coordinate system as well as the projection in place and guys if these tutorials are helpful to you in any way consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to give this video a like bye